The first 45 minutes in the second round of tonight's NFL Draft have produced more fireworks than in the entire first round did an evening ago. It all started innocently enough when former Eagles linebacker Jeremiah Trotter announced the 35th pick as selected by Philadelphia. Tight end Zach Ertz out of Stanford, a 250-pound tight end who runs great routes, has good hands, and can run after the catch, like Mark Bavaro. You're thinking to yourself, well, the Eagles have plenty of tight ends. They have Selleck. They brought Casey over from Houston. Why do they need all these tight ends? I'll tell you why. Because when Chip Kelly runs the ball 67% of the time, as he did in Oregon, you're not fooling anybody with four wide receiver sets. You need to have multiple tight ends who may stay in and block or go out on the route. That'll keep the defense guessing, and it'll help them with those short passes, quick hitting, that they're going to run one right after the other. So, Zach Ertz, tight end, Stanford, goes to the Philadelphia Eagles at 35. However, the big fireworks came a couple picks later, starting with the San Diego Chargers who picked at number 38. They announced Manti Teo. He's now off the board. Second, second runner-up in the Heisman voting, he had an excellent year at linebacker. He was much maligned, of course, for the off-the-field issues with his fake girlfriend. That was exacerbated by a poor performance in the BCS championship against Alabama, where he was run over and ran through. Then he goes to the combine. He runs that 4-8-40. His stock falls even further. He has a pro day. He redeems himself. He runs, a, I guess, a 4-7, something like that. But... What it all comes down to is what you put on film. And Manti Teo is kind of like a Peyton Manning of a defense. He could audible out of one defense into the other when the, when the quarterback starts doing it on the other side. He can play that chess game with the best of them. And in the NFL, it's a game of quick, fast adjustments. And Manti Teo has the intelligence to get that done. So that's a good pick by the San Diego Chargers. However, I thought Minnesota were the stars of the draft so far, based on what they did in the first round. But the Jets have retaken the lead as far as making waves goes. If you thought bringing in T Tim Tebow was a big deal last year, well this year they ended the whole green room Aaron Rodgers-like drama by drafting quarterback Geno Smith out of West Virginia. This guy did not look happy when he didn't get drafted in the first round, so he's going to come in there and try to prove something. Mark Sanchez is going to have to fight for his life, fight for his position, and that's good. Competition will breed either a better Mark Sanchez or you might get a Russell Wilson like first year out of Geno Smith. He's got something to prove and he's got a great defense on the other side of the ball and that's one good advantage. That's what Seattle had last year for Russell Wilson. You could have some growing pains and get better as the season goes on when you have a defense that doesn't allow you to fall behind so much. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Russell Wilson behind center week one for the New York Jets and they always have Milliner Island on the other side. So, there we go. Philadelphia Eagles, tight end Zach Ertz out of Stanford. Geno Smith, West Virginia, goes to the Jets. And Manti Teo is now off the board and the newest member of the San Diego Chargers.